and welcome to this edition of the National Alliance Television Program. I am Silveria Jacobs, your number three candidate and hostess for this program. Today on our program we have none other than our esteemed leader, the Honorable William Marlin, Member of Parliament, and leader of the National Alliance. Good evening, William. Good evening, Silveria. It's a pleasure to be here and uh, to be on this program once again. Um, I look forward on being on many more programs, but this one is a special program, being the National Alliance final program before um, you know voters go to the polls on August 29th. So, this makes today's program a very special one. Yes, and because this is our last program before that pivotal election day, we felt it pertinent to have you here this evening to, to answer to or give the, the, the viewing public a feel of where the National Alliance is today on the Monday before election and where we hope to be on Friday and after that. So I'll start with, we've had some public meetings. What is your feedback? from the general public or you know, from our supporters in terms of how the public meetings and the different strategies we've been using to reach them is coming about? Well, Silveria, one of the, one of the things that you know, is, is evident in this election um, is that the message that flags don't vote, banners don't vote, stickers and posters don't vote, but it takes people to vote. Um, one of the you know, cliches by now that I've been using, um, but I'm, I'm trying to I probably copyright it. When people would meet me and they would say, I'm good luck, good luck with elections. I would tell them, well, it's not a lottery. Um, I can buy one lottery ticket and win the million dollar prize. But with an election, I can't get one vote and win the election. But I need one, 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 several thousands of one votes. And that's the way we're going to win the election. Um, so we have been, and people themselves are telling us also, don't worry with all that green uh, that you see up on the hill. Don't worry with whether you see some red in between. Um, we are there with you. Um, they are happy that our candidates are beating the pavement. Um, uh, they, they, are, they are seeing our candidates out in the different districts, um, talking to them, visiting with them, sharing issues in our manifesto, sharing issues of the accomplishments of us as a party, of some of our candidates as individuals when they were given an opportunity to serve. So people realize that the Green Carnival is not what is going to take to win this election. You need to have people. You need to have people who have confidence in you. You need to have people who are focused on what is good and what is not good for St. Martin. I think people, you would always get people who would um, you know, look for the glitz and the glamour because, oh boy, um, we're having fun. Or there are people who are going to um, ask for a little help uh, to, 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 to vote for you. But the majority of voters are becoming more and more conscious. And people are seeing we cannot, we cannot go back to where we were over the past four years. Um, we need to put a party in there. And in 2010, um, the, there was a serious attempt to give National Alliance an outright win. Uh, we missed by a couple votes, 180 votes I think it was, we missed eight seats outright. Attempts have been made thereafter to make it look as if the National Alliance is bad. It is not the party to be with. Oh, look at them, people are jumping, people are jumping off. And the jumpers today need to justify why they have left. Um, and we won't go there. Um, today we are saying we are happy and we say again thank you. Thank you to our thousands of voters who have remained with the party. Um, you want to leave? Farewell, goodbye, bon voyage. You want to start something new? You want to join something existing? Power be to you. The National Alliance is a party that 
has been and will always be there for the people. That is why um, we could have gone with, you know, slogans like um, uh, sweep them out, um, clean out the mess, clean out the corruption, or, or, or we too ready or we too ain't ready. Um, but we chose a slogan that fits with the profile of the party, St. Martin Forest. We believe that um, a political party needs to serve the people. And when you look at what we have done over the years, whenever we were given a year, a year and a month, uh, to be in government, the track record of the people of the National Alliance is one that is second to none. Uh, the short times that we would spend in there, we would do things with a focus on the people, putting the people first, putting the needs of St. Martin first, and not looking in our own little backyard to say, hey, we got to fix this up or we got to fix that up. So yes, we are very, very happy with the way the campaign uh, has turned out. And <coughs> we know elections are won you know, on the day of election and are lost on the day of election. So while we will have you know, another pu um, pu public meeting, our last public meeting will be on Wednesday upcoming at the Scott property next to the gas station going up to South Reward. Um, we will have our final meeting there. Um, we will have our meeting televised. We will have our meeting live on radio as well. And we are asking all our supporters, and even those who have not made up their mind uh, to support us as yet, those who are on the fence, those who are doubtful, we are asking them to either tune in to cable television, tune in to PJD2, but better yet, come there live and be part of that great happening uh, because it's a final meeting before we march on to victory on election day, August 29th. We come down and we wind down. We, I think the public has taken note of the type of campaigning that has been done by many, many parties. But I must also say that, especially since our manifesto has been out, that in the recent debates that I'm hearing many parties speaking our language, literally yes. speaking our language and um, almost on the same page as us. So it's really going to confuse, I believe, the voters. And, and what I would like to say is people need to judge also on track record because everybody has a, a program now. The confusion of the voters. The track record of the National Alliance. What can you say to propel our program, which has been, this, when I say the same, has always followed the trend of putting the people first? What can you say to the people? I, 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 think, I think exactly that's where I was going to dip in, Silveria. Um, it is easy for someone to write something, read something, download it, and put it out there. Um, but if you know the person who is saying, this is what we shall do, as opposed to this one, um, when you talk about improvements in education, um, National Alliance stands heads and shoulders above them. When you're talking about improving infrastructure in the different neighborhoods, National Alliance stands heads and shoulders above them. If you're talking about you know, anything that affects the, the people. people. Um, one of the issues I think all of a sudden now everybody jumping on the bandwagon is the short-term labor contracts. We have one of the first things our p faction did in Parliament and it's the first piece of legislation proposed by any faction in Parliament mm -hmm. was to stem the abuse against the short-term labor contract. They have kicked it around, they have hidden it, they have tried to stall it, they have done any and everything to it because um, their perspective uh, is to, or, or, or their objective is to protect their friends while ours is focused on the people. We are not saying that you have to disregard or discard business. Absolutely not. But business and people need to work harmoniously together. Exactly. And for you to have a, 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 a progressive and positive and harmonious workplace, it is like family. Um, you, you have a, a good family. They stay together. They are stronger together. But if you have a family that is constantly fighting and bickering with each other is going to fall apart. And you can't expect a worker to show up on the job happy every morning knowing 
in the next three weeks, in the next four weeks, in the next six weeks, um, I'm out of a job. And guess what? My job will be there, but somebody else is going to come in, but the same fate befalls that one. Because he or she is going to get a contract for either five, six, eight, or nine months. And five, six, seven, eight, or nine months after, he or she is out there looking for a job again. When we look at housing, um, in the short period that I was there, I made sure put more housing programs in place, put them in the pipeline to get them going. One of them was um, the construction of extra senior homes in Belvedere. And I made a promise. I want to reiterate this promise. Again, I want to look now not at you, but basically directly at the camera and tell those seniors who we have made that promise to more than once that with William Ireland and with the National Alliance, a promise made will be a promise kept. And we will ensure that housing becomes available, not for 500 guilders, not for $500, not for 150 guilders or $150, but for 50 guilders a month. That has to be possible. We cannot, we cannot continue to see our seniors going on pension. Some of us can go on pension because of the jobs that we have had or because we worked for government and we have a pension that we can survive from. But there are many who worked in the very same casinos, for instance, who now would be going on pension and having only the old age pension to fall back on. And you suddenly find yourself drifting and sinking because you cannot afford to pay the rent. You cannot, and even some people who have their own home, you can't afford to live from the kind of pension you have. So there's, there are many areas that we need to pay attention to, things that affect our seniors. They gotta be able to live with dignity and pride. When we were going through um, the, the, the soccer garden area, for instance, mm -hmm. where we met that lady who spoke with so much passion, um, has worked and was never a burden, a problem to anybody. Today, as a pensioner um, with uh, diabetic complications, she's diabetic, uh, therefore wants to have extra um, vitamins, etc. can't afford them, walks from Soccer Garden to town because can't afford to pay a bus, can't afford to pay electricity, and was evicted from the, 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 by the Housing Foundation from the home where she lived because you built up an arrears on a $200, $220 rent per month. But at a given moment, people have to make choices. They made choices that had consequences, and we are saying no. No senior should be put in a position where they're being evicted from a home because they can't even afford to pay a $220 rent per month. Our people need to be able to live uh, in dignity even after they have retired because you have helped to build St. Martin. You have helped to build the economy. You have helped to bring forth those who today are the working force, those who today will be the leaders of St. Martin. But we can't look back and see them because they may not have children living on the island who can help and look out for them. So, the, you know, these are some of the issues. So when you hear everybody now suddenly jumping Jump on, it. oh, we're going to abolish the six months contracts. We're going to take care of the six months contract. And then you say, show me the party. Show me the candidate that is making that promise, and I know what time it is. But in the meantime, it has reached its final destination, now where government has finally um, submit their notes to it and it should be debated in parliament um, it is clear that it was as far as i'm concerned held back held back purposely because it is known that some of the parties represented in parliament today um, would only give lip service to it when it's being talked about because it sounds good and when it comes to a vote you would see what some of them have done over the past months when certain things come to a vote, they suddenly disappear out of parliament or they, 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 they remain silent, they, they don't vote 
you know, they walk away f for not voting or they vote against. And is this representing the people? Because I think these are the same people that are now coming back to the electorate to say, vote for me and give me another four years. So I would like you, we're coming down to the last few minutes of the program. And um, I'd also like a, a 30 seconds to say something. So I would like you to, in the next three minutes, really sell the National Alliance and William Marlin as the party to take St. Martin to the next level and why we have the, the capacity to do so, the integrity to do so. You've closed on, a, on you know, you've mentioned an, an important word. Uh, we have all kinds of integrity issues and reports that are being made against, you know, government or to investigate government. We have candidates uh, who are involved in, uh, you know, endless court cases all piled up in, in, you know, on one list. And like somebody said to me the other day, he said, um, you know, show me your company and I'll tell you who you are. Um, William Island has always been true to the people of St. Martin. Um, I'm an honest, hardworking, dedicated man when it comes to serving the people. And with me, I have a team of more dedicated people whose heart is with the people. Um, there is no agenda for the individual members. The only agenda that we have is an agenda for the people of St. Martin. So through this, I'm asking you, you know, through this medium, I'm asking you, um, first of all, thanking you for viewing our programs every week, thanking you particularly for viewing this program and invite you to come out on August 29th. If you have not gotten your voting card yet, make sure go to the census office tomorrow morning. Tell them you did not get it because if it was not delivered by Friday last, it won't be delivered again. So go to the census office. It is closed on Friday. Usually it is open. This year it is closed on election day. So make sure you go Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Tell them you did not get your card to get your voting card. Make sure you know which polling station you are voting at. And of course, there's only one choice. You will be voting for the National Alliance Silveria. Thank I'm switching so it much. around. The word is now Thank yours. Thank you so much. I would also like to, for this last program, endorse the fact that the right to vote is something we cannot and should not throw to the wayside, not as a means of protest or anything else. If you would like to protest, you should be able to find a candidate on the National Alliance slate who can definitely defend you, represent you in Parliament. We have 23 dynamic candidates. I know I am one of them that d deserves to represent you in Parliament because we have proven to be capable, dedicated, and hardworking in the one year during this last term. People were feeling that we were doing the job we were doing and for un disclose reasons we were kicked out of government just when things were going well so you as a people have that right have that desire to see that change not the change that the current government want to see within themselves but the change of a new party who has proven in the past to work hard for st martin the national alliance new in the sense that we would like it for four years we have never had that opportunity and we would love the St. Martin oh, yes. people, to come out as you did in 2010 with even more resounding words to give us the mandate to take St. Martin to the next level from 2014 to 2018. August 29, use your vote. Make it count. Vote National Alliance.
to come straight up This is an emergency A party that's striving to put our country first So let we line up and line straight up to cast the vote So show me where you wave your heart The alliance will never depart Once you straight with them all the time and focus Let we follow the alliance Down the road to cast your vote now Chippa, we go follow the 